Hey everybody, it's Blue Tide and welcome back to Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. So now, that we've completed the first dungeon, now we're heading south. Uh, and we could go to the... the what's it called? The second dungeon. There's a few things I want to check first. I'm not sure if I can do all of them right now, but there's a few things I can think of, possibly, that I might be able to do. There's also these things here that we, is an enemy we haven't seen yet. Uh, we just need to slash at them when they're going around. We can also go along the edge of the ground here, which is makes it a lot easier to take them out with our sword. Otherwise, you just have to use your your bow. So we've got that now as well. Let's take you out. And up here is a bunch of items. Also, what do you have to say? Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep them between us, okay? 300 rupees! He just gives us 300 rupees. Also, 20 rupee. Another 20 rupee. Bombs and arrows. Just all of the things. Wow, just the f He just handed us... ...so many rupees. Just for talking to an NPC. This is why you talk to the NPC. <laughs> this oh my goodness, anyway. Uh, let's head on further this way then. Ah, can't kill you. There's a lot of new enemies here. There's also the Zora here. And their water there. They shoot fireballs, so you need to be careful of them. They also look different to what they do in future games. Or in other versions of the game. It's just this style of Zelda game that has them like look like that. Uh, but anyway, there's also this enemy here that blows up into many smaller enemies. It's not that much of a problem, but it's still something, so. Also, if I could have some health back, that'd be great, because I'm actually kind of low. Given that I'm at half health. Less than half half health. Uh, but anyway, all the way down here. Ow! Now might be a good time to use that fairy. Um, let's do that then. Please, 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 fairy, fairy, come back here, please, fairy. Thank you. We can pick it up with our sword. I'm pretty sure, possibly if we swing it around. I might be wrong about that too, though. Uh, but anyway, there's also this cave here, which we can do a few things in since we can blow this up. I believe it's a Hasrala. Told us, told us we can actually get some stuff here. There's some fairies here, but also, if we dash into this fountain here, there is a gold bee. We can find some bees in some trees if we dash into them, but also this this bee is special because it's sparkling, so let's keep that in a bottle. And it's it's tempting to get a fairy here, but I, I don't have enough space for it, unfortunately. Uh, anyway now... We can also blow up this wall over here, which connects to the cave. There we go. So let's go through here. And this has another item for us. Which is the ice rod. It's chill magic, blast the air, but watch your magic meter. So this is an item that uses magic to use, but it shoots out a blast of ice power. And I don't remember how good this is, for some reason, but it's probably not the... Okay, so it does freeze enemies, so it, it's a good stun weapon. It also probably does a little bit of damage at the same time as well, so... It's pretty good. Uh, but it's not terribly important to have, so... I mean, it is important to have. You'll need it at some point. Uh, but now is not really the time to have it. But still, it's, it's good to pick it up now, since we can. Especially if you like having everything. Um, now, let's go... ...up this way. Carefully. Very carefully. And I believe if we go in here... ...we can actually do a few things. The first thing we can do is... ...push this block into the, the way of the chest, because that's the only way to get through. And now... There's an anti-fairy here, which we could actually turn into a regular fairy. Using magic powder, like that. If we pull this switch here... It's the wrong one. Oh, and it drops in some bombs on us. Okay. If we pull this one, though... It opens that gate there. Letting the water through. Now if we go outside... It actually drained the water from the area around here. There's a piece of heart here, but also there's some fish that I believe we can actually pick up, which is interesting enough. 
there's no reason to pick them up, but you can do it, so... It's very interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's go back in now, and let's push this block down here. And this block down here, since that's the only way to get to this chest. And grab some bombs. You have to do one or the other in that place first, so... You can't get them both at the same time, I don't think. Pretty sure. Uh, there's also this banner enemy here that you can see. I think if you... Uh... Oh my goodness. I believe you can do something to actually get him to give you 20 rupees. I think you have to cut the grass that he jumps out of before he falls back into it. Uh, but we need to head further this way. Take out the enemy. Pay no attention to the average middle-aged man standing by this sign. Leave him alone. Did you want this sign? You want this sign? You want this sign? It's my sign now. Why did you take my sign? It says plain as day to just leave me alone. Sheesh. And now he's just following me around, I guess. You can't enter with something following you. Uh-oh. That's not good. I don't want him following me. I don't- I don't want him following me. I don't- I don't want him following me. Please, sir, stop following me. Okay, he's gone. Good. Also, I want to check this thing again. There we go. Alright, take it, thief. Oh, he gave us a heart. Okay. But anyway. Because we left the area, it respawns this sign for him. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure up here is actually a fairy fountain if we want to get fully healed. Yep. Cool. So there's that there if you need it. But now let's head into the desert. Which has a few monsters around for us. There's also some mines in the ground that we need to be careful not to touch. And this vulture here which is going to be annoying and swooping around us. Uh, but let's go into this cave here. Which I believe is important. So let's go over this way. Looks a lot like Sahasrala but I don't think it is. Agana! I sense something is happening in the, gold, the Golden Land. The Seven Wise Men sealed. This must be an omen of the Great Cataclysm foretold by the people of Hylian Blood. The prophecy says the hero will stand in the desert holding the Book of Medora. If you have the Book of Medora, you can read the language of the Hylia people. It should be in the house of books in the village. You must get it. If you are the person who will be the hero. Okay, so we'll have to do that before we can do anything else, I believe. We can also blow up this wall over here and go in to get a chest with a piece of heart in it. Very nice. We've had... We've, we've, there's a lot of piece of heart we've collected already for some reason. But anyway, that's everything in this cave for now, so let's head back down. And let's go back to find this Book of Medora. I believe that's the right thing. The right, 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 right name. It's a fair way to travel back to, though. But luckily we have the running, well, Pegasus boots, so... No, not the running shoes. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Okay, can't go that way because there's a rock there. Just keep running. Just keep running. Also, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if you run into that pill uh, statue there, it just drops a uh, fairy out. Which is interesting. Also, I think I might be crazy, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Also, if you hit two, uh, two pieces of grass at the same time, it actually just gives you... It actually stops you in your tracks, so you need to be careful of that. Also, that's a bomb, so I'm going to be careful of that. Also, that's a fairy, if you hit that tree. Good to keep that in mind if you need a fairy at any point coming past here. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going all the way over here because this is where we saw a interesting uh, shop. Also, that's a bee that's going to attack me. If you catch a bee in a bottle it will and release it, it will attack enemies for you unless there are no enemies and it will just attack you instead. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and dash into that there. This is the House of Books. But we can pick this up, which is, of course, the Book of Medora. You can use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. That's interesting. I want to read the ancient language of the Hylia now. Ah, uh, but I believe there's actually something else we can do while we're here. If 
I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to try and do that. So, let's go. Where is it? I think it's in here. Is where I need to go. Might be wrong. Hi, Link. Sorry about my yard. It's saying it's an interesting story. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, maybe I'm... I might just be wrong. I might be thinking about something else entirely. Which would be fine, too. Because I thought... I thought that you had something to do with the gold bee. Or the good bee. But I think you actually don't. I think it's just there to attack enemies for you. It's really good for attacking enemies for you. But I thought you actually could do something with it. I think I'm thinking about Link Between Worlds again. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to let that go then. We don't need it. There's probably something we could do with it. Um, like at a boss or something. To have it fight everything for us. But I'm just going to not worry about it. I could probably, I'd prefer to have a fairy. Just to make sure I'm going to live. Since I'm not entirely convinced I'm going to live at this point. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to grab that, that's fine. I can reload the screen. Also need to get out my... Bug net. Please, 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 no, no, please, no. I need the fairy. Oh, fairy, no, ah, I collected it. It's a little bit difficult to get this fairy. Just a little bit. Hang on. Let me go above it. Grab. Grab. Nope. Ah, oh, my goodness. Please. Got it. Put it in the bottle. Thank you. Okay, and now back to the desert, because we need to be there now. <laughs> that we have the Book of Medora. Excuse me, going through. Just coming through. That's a lot of area here to just look around in. Also the archer in the grass. But anyway. I'm glad we have the Pegasus boots to get around faster. Okay. There should also be some other enemies in this area. Yeah, then. The sand, sand man. That would just run at you. Try to hit you. But anyway. Can't read that, so let's bring out the Book of Medora and use that on the thing. To open the way to go forward, make your wish here and it will be granted. And now, we can go into the next dungeon. Okay, so we have a lot of these enemies here. Also, Beemos, that will just shoot at us. We can't do anything about it. Um, where do I want to go? Need to be careful with the levers here as well. And these other things in the sand pits that will try to hit us. Uh, now, do I go this way? I think I go this way. Or does this just lead out? This just leads out, okay. Don't think I need to move these statues. Also, I don't think we can block the... the Beemos shots with our shield, unfortunately. And I believe this room up here is actually a trap room. But I still think we need to be in here, so... Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, we're good. No, there isn't anything here. That was just a trap room. It's very interesting that they have a trap room, because you wouldn't think that there would be a trap room. Uh, now, let me... Get rid of you. Get rid of you, please. I would have thought that there were... I think I'm just remembering things wrong again. Uh, let's take a look around. Go up here. Please don't do that. Take you out. 
There's a switch there to open up, allow us to get that chest, which is good. So let's check this. I don't think the torches do anything, so we don't need to worry about that. We've got the map, so let's check that. Got quite a fair bit to do here. Quite a bit. Ah, uh, okay. We need to find a key. So let's go this way. And go up here. Hello. Link, it is I, Sahasrala. You must never fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. Okay. I must never fail. Okay, let me dash into that to get the key. Okay, so we have a key now. Let's keep looking around. Uh, doors are locked, so we need to find the switch, which is there. Go up here. Okay, that's the big chest. So we'll have to come back to that. Once we find the big key. Uh, but now we can go over to the right side and check that locked room that we saw before. Okay. Let's check this. We can also hear a lot of noise coming from the side of the dungeon. Also, I think the lasers can actually, from the beamers, can actually hit the, the enemies as well as you. Uh, let me check the map now. So the boss is in the second floor part of the dungeon. So let's just take out the enemies for now and keep moving. And now, let's just dash through here, carefully dodging all of the projectiles, and get the big key. So now we have that, we can do all the important things. Also, just, I'm failing to dodge everything in the universe. Uh, let's go over to the left side again. These dungeons seem to fly by a lot faster than I thought they did. Maybe they do, as much as I thought they did. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go get the dungeon item, there. Okay. Very nice. Okay, dungeon item. It's gonna be very helpful. We get the power glove. You can feel strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now. Yes. Stones. We can now pick up and get rid of them. To go to places we couldn't go to before. Allowing us to take shortcuts and all kinds of things. Uh, but now, there should be everything in this part of the dungeon, so let's go all the way over this way. And one of these blocks we can push down, I believe, to allow us to go into here. This room is just some fairies if you need them, so... It's very helpful. Uh, but that's everything here, I believe. So now... Let's go down. Out of the dungeon. Seems a very interesting thing to have halfway through a dungeon. Ah, uh, but also we can actually go down here and get another piece of heart. Just mid-dungeon, apparently. So now... We can pick up these stones because we have the power glove. Which allows us to go into the second part of the dungeon. Okay, very careful now, there's a Beemos. Ow, what I just say? Uh, and one of these pots has a key in it. But also these panels on the ground are trying to destroy us. They always have the same amount of panels, I'm pretty sure. And always form the same shape on the ground. So. Just need to dodge them. I think we can also use our sword to stop them as well. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Also, I could have just used the key to escape, I guess. But it always forms that same shape on the ground, which is why I remember it, usually. Anyway, second floor now. I love the way that this dungeon is designed. Uh, anyway, we also need to take out this enemy. All the enemies, so we can move on. And there are a lot of Beemos here. Don't think we need to worry about the enemies too much. Ow. But we do need to get the key in that pot there, because that's very easy to miss. Since it's inside of a pot. Uh, but we also need that key there. More stuff on the ground. I don't know how I remember where all these keys are. Okay. Let's get out the bow. And take you out. Please. Nope, not quite. Get rid of you. 
And now all that's left is to light up all these torches here. Since this is a dead end, but also look at the edge of the wall there. And you see it doesn't have that line that everything else on the walls have. The little brick pattern. Obviously that's because it's not the real end of the wall. But here we go. It's boss time. I can't remember the best strategy for this boss, but we need to take out three of these things here. We need to hit them in the heads to try and take them out. You can also spin attack to do more damage. They also have projectiles that uh, launch out of the where they come out of the ground, so we need to be extra careful as things happen. And the last one have, will have more projectiles when it's the only one left. Might be good to do some spin attacks if you can. Ow. Ow. Ooh, this is not good. I need to live. Just a little bit longer, please. Oh, oh, Dodging. Everything. Oh my goodness, projectiles are gonna be... pain. Okay. They're all in sync now, which is probably the worst part about this. Okay, that's one. Two. Last one's gonna be a bit more annoying now because it's gonna shoot in more directions than the previous ones did. As you can see, just every direction is covered now. Please let me hit you. Thank you. Okay, this should be good. He shoots in eight directions instead of four. Okay, just need to be safe. Just be safe. Just be safe. Just be safe. Don't touch me. Okay. That wasn't long. Okay. Please, thank you. Let's grab that heart container. And the pendant of power. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm wrong about that as well. It might just be the order that we get these that I, I'm confused with. Yeah, it's the Pendant of Power, which is weird because you would think that'll be... The red one would be power because of future games and all that. But anyway, your goal of finding three pennants is in sight. Go for the last one. I can do that. Uh, but anyway, that's everything here in the desert now, for now. So let's just get moving back to where the rest of the world where we need to do other stuff. since we've done everything in the desert already. That didn't take long. It's almost surprising how long that took. And by long, I mean not long. Okay. Uh, also, now that we have the power bracelets, we can also lift up the big stones, which is going to be helpful for getting around faster. Also, hello. Now, where do I want to go? I think I just want to go up to the... the uh, witch's hut again. The potion shop, that one. That's what it's called. We can get there pretty quickly now. Since we can take the shortcut. Uh, there's also a few other things I can do as well. So... Now that we can move the, r the rocks... Uh, there's also these darker rocks that we can't pick up, so... But, you know, have to have some stuff stopping us from getting around everywhere. Not that that's really stopping us from getting around any anywhere, so... Uh, but now we can get through here, further in. We can also dash into these rocks here to get rid of those. Read the sign. No, I didn't mean to pick it up. I was trying to read it. It's fine. It's gone now, though. Ow, ow, ow. Might just get out the... bow so I can shoot these things. Uh, but anyway, I believe we can go all the way up here, which is a long way to go. But let's go up to this north screen here, which is slightly off the map here. Just slightly. And let's go through here. This is the Zora Fountain area. A lot of Zoras will spawn in here. Some on the land, some in the water. The ones in the water will shoot projectiles at you. The ones on the land will just try to push you off. Also, it's very easy to just fall off yourself, so I don't know why they need the Zoras here to push you around. Also, when you hit them, they get stunned, so... Okay. That's a goal. 
can't remember which way to go here. Let me go up. It seems like the right decision. And you need a lot of rupees. Nope, it's the wrong decision. You need a lot of rupees as when you come here as well. So be ready for that. Oh my goodness, it's the bottom path. Of course it's the bottom path. I knew it was either the top path or the bottom path, but I... <sighs> I'm sad. Anyway. Let's go. All the way up here to the top of the Zora Fountain. Hello. Waha, what do you want, little man? Do you want... Uh, do you have something to ask me? I, I just dropped by. Great, whenever you want to see my fishy face, you're welcome here. Waha, goodbye. Oops. Oh, please respawn. Please, please, please respawn. Please don't tell me I have to go through that all again just to talk to you. No, I don't. Cool, good. Just have to go off screen a little bit. Okay. I want the flippers. Wow, but I don't uh, just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees. A piece. A pair. What do you do? I, I'll, I'll pay 500 rupees. Waha, one pair of flippers coming up. I will give you a free bonus with your purchase. I will let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link uh, lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. Waha. So we get the flippers. You bought Zora's flippers. With these, you should be able to swim, even in deep water. And now we can see that on the bottom of our screen as well as the power, bra bra power, power gauntlet. And all of the things now, so. This is going to be very helpful because it means we can actually swim around and even down this river here. Which is very good because down this way, we saw that there was a piece of heart just on a ledge that we can pick up now. There we go. Another heart container. And with that, that should be everything up here. So let's head back out now. There's still some more stuff to do here, but I need to get out of the Zora Fountain area. And right over here, we're told that there was a fairy, or no, it's a beautiful lady, woman, I don't know, at the waterfall. So let's swim into the waterfall here, which has a secret cave. Mysterious Pond, won't you throw something in? Let's throw an item. So you have to pick an item by using the D-pad and then press... Y button to select it. So, let's throw in a shield. And there's a great fairy here. Hello there, did you drop this? Uh, uh, no, I, I don't know what's gonna happen if I say no, I didn't, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes. I like an honest person. I will give you something better in return. Cool. And so we get an upgraded shield. Now you can defend yourself against fireballs. And also the Beemos. No, not the Beemos. You're still not good enough for the Beemos. But our shield is a lot better now. It will actually block things. But let's throw in another item. There's only a few items that we can throw in. I believe if you throw in an empty bottle, you get magic um, in the bottle. Uh, but the other item we can throw in is the boomerang. Did you drop this? Yes, I did. Give you something better in return. And now we have the magical boomerang. You can throw this faster and further than the old one. So there we go. Very nice. I believe if we go out somewhere to use it, it has to be on land. I believe if we hold down the button, maybe? No, I think I'm wrong about that. Uh, but also there's a whirlpool here that if we swim into, takes us to Lake Hylia, all the way down south, which is quite impressive. Uh, there is a thing here that we can look at. There's a little cave here, which is, this is actually probably fairly good to do this now as well, because there's another fairy fountain called the Pond of Happiness. Throw some rupees in and your wishes will surely come true. Let's throw a few. Let's do 20. Happiness increased 20 rupees. In total, your happiness is 20. You became happier by one step. For reference today, you have... Big trouble. Oh no, not big trouble. Anyway, let's just keep dashing to this until we get... The prompt again to put more rupees in. Let's just keep 
throwing them in. So there we have great luck. I think this actually will do something else in the game, but I'm not sure what. It's just good to have the better luck. I know that. Okay, 60 rupees, one step. We'll have great luck. Okay, throw more rupees. This is going to take a while. 80 rupees in total. Big trouble. That's not good. I want, I want good luck. Give me the good luck. Give me the good luck. Give me the good luck. Throw a few. 20 rupees. This is a very slow process. But anyway, after we've thrown 100 rupees, she can make her dreams oh, our wish come true. Either to carry more bombs or more arrows. I don't know which one's better right now. Let me just do bombs. So now we can increase it. It's increased to carry 15 bombs at maximum. This is just a small, uh, small happiness I can give to you. So there we go. Now we have more space for bombs, which was not terribly helpful, but I mean it's useful. I mean it's 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 still good. Also, we can toss more rupees in now. Thank goodness. 50 rupees. Big trouble. That's fine. I just need to do it again. For 200 rupees. So for every 100 rupees, we can upgrade... Uh, arrows and bombs to carry more. But we can only do this as long as we have enough rupees and only to a certain amount. Let's carry more arrows. There we go. So that is that for now. Uh, there's also some more stuff I need to do in Northern Hyrule as well, but I guess that's the direction we're heading in anyway, so... That is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.